In this video, I will go over the dissection of a sheep kidney and cover the external and internal components, as well as go over a little bit about how the urine is formed. This kidney in particular has been injected with a triple dye, as well as some wax to illustrate some of these structures. Once open, we can see the blue representing the venous system, red arterial system, and the yellow wax has been removed to show the drainage system of the urine. The first thing we want to look at externally is the renal hilum. This is the medial recess of the kidney where three tubes are connected. The renal artery, renal vein, and the urine. How do you differentiate between the renal artery and the renal vein? Well, the renal artery has a lot more smooth muscle located in the tunica media. This is obvious when you touch the probe to the rigid wall of the artery versus the renal vein. A lot of the waste comes in via the renal artery and leaves via the renal vein once it's purified. Wastes are transported out the ureter and out of the body via urine. When we look at the cross section of the ureter, we can see it is made up of smooth muscle, an outer layer called the circular layer, and a more medial layer called the longitudinal layer. The ureter is lined by transitional epithelium, very similar to the urinary bladder. Now let's cut the kidney via a frontal or coronal section so we can get a nice mirror image and two nice equal halves so we can see all of the structures and anatomical features. Kidney has a very dense structure so be careful when cutting and take your time and not to cut yourself. You should have two halves of the kidney. The yellow wax has been removed so we can see the collecting system a little bit better. The outer one third of your kidney is called the renal cortex. It is highly vascularized and has a renal capsule at the very outside. The inner two thirds is called the renal medulla. And within the renal medulla, we have triangle-shaped areas called the renal pyramids. We can see the interlobar artery and vein. And we can see the collecting duct system as urine is drained into this area. As urine is drained into the collecting system, it enters the minor calyx first and makes its way a little bit further down into the major calyx and the renal pelvis before it exits out via the ureter. How is urine formed? Well, first, blood enters the renal artery, divides into multiple segments called the segmental artery, and then makes its way into the interlobar arteries, arcuate artery, and then the cortical radiate arteries, and then eventually making their way into the nephron. The functional and structural unit of a kidney is called the nephron. This is where all the filtration is going to happen. As blood makes its way into the renal corpuscle of the nephron, glomerular filtration rate starts. And we also have tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion happening along the renal tubule. Once all the waste is dropped off, most of it is going to enter the ureter and go out the body via the urinary tract. However, the filtered blood now makes its way back into the renal vein. The leftover waste is dropped off into the collecting system. The minor calyx is the first place. Urine is formed. Then it drains into a major calyx and then eventually the renal pelvis and out the ureter.